National Hydro Power Association is the national spokesman for the hydroelectric industry. We represent the full spectrum that includes conventional hydropower, as well as some of the new in-stream hydrokinetic technologies and pump storage. We're an organization that really focuses on moving policies forward to ensure the growth and vitality of the hydroelectric industry. Like all the other renewables, have great concerns about public policy right now supporting the renewable community and its growth agenda. Perhaps probably the most important item right now is the extension of the production tax credit. We're also looking at ensuring some uh, responsible reforms of our regulatory process that allow us to compete better in the marketplace. So we have our materials here today. We'll be talking to members of Congress. We're also participating on a panel later this afternoon to try to get that message out about the need for some very urgent policy changes here in Washington. Certainly, the federal government's policies have a way of incentivizing all different types of technologies. And hydropower, just like all other renewables and other technologies, really relies on those federal policies to address some of the challenges that we see in growth and development. For example, trying to develop a hydro project is it's a lot of upfront costs, and it's sometimes hard to get past and over that hurdle. And so the the policy set by the federal government, like the production tax credit, and the Clean Renewable Energy Bonds Program, helps our members to get over the hump and actually see project development occur. We have tremendous growth opportunity in this industry. 60,000 megawatts were on target to build, but with those types of federal policies that include production tax credit, relicensing improvements, and R&D for some of these newer technologies, emerging technologies, are all critical to get to that 60,000 megawatt of growth. Our member companies include uh, investor-owned utilities like Pacific Gas and Electric and Southern Company. They include the, some of the uh, Northwest Publics uh, like Chelan PUD and Grant PUD. And uh, also we have TVA as a member, Bonneville Power Administration a member. We also have uh, the whole service side of it, manufacturers, suppliers, uh, consulting firms, engineering firms, and independent power producers like Brookfield and TransCam. So some Canadian members as well as U.S. companies. So my, I think the most important message that we all want to deliver here today is federal policy is important. It can't wait. Uh, we, I know we've heard an awful lot about wait to link up. We really need the certainty that federal policy offers, and we need it soon to see these industries continue to grow. Or we're going to see a terrible loss in this country of many companies that can deliver clean, renewable energy to a middle class around the country.